called Jehovah's Witnesses. Hi, um, I just have a question I was wondering if someone could help me with. Sure. Do you have a minute? Yep. Okay. Um, I am. I was looking at the website because some Jehovah's Witnesses told me about it, and um, mm-hmm. I figured that's a good way to learn kind of where they're coming from. Um, I was particularly interested in the um, the idea about this um, the slave, you know, the slave class or whatever. Um, and I saw in one because they seem to talk about it so much, like they have this like uh, really strong central authority. Um, but anyways, I was uh, reading one article which had some insight on that um, from 2017. Uh, and it said that the governing body is neither inspired nor infallible. Correct. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, it says it can err in doctrinal matters or in organizational direction. True. Okay, so, um, but then um, later I, I was watching some of the videos. They have these videos where um, a man is, like, talking. I guess he's one of the slave or something like that. And, um, well, he said the direction comes from Jehovah to Jesus to them. And that's what inspired means. Well, just just as if the, you, you understand the Bible was inspired of God, right? Yes, and he said they were inspired because it means what you're saying comes from God. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was just wondering which it can't it can't really be both. Right, right. Um, it, it inspired. Uh, you can also take it from the standpoint of, let's say a um, a movie has a, a soundtrack, uh, and and, uh, and and there are certain songs that are inspired uh, by the movie, uh, not necessarily uh, words given to the songwriter directly from the writer of the movie, uh, but influenced. No, that's inspiring, and that's not in a religious context where he is a religious leader and said that the direction comes from Jehovah to Jesus to them. Mm-hmm. That's well, called that, in, that, inspired in, in, in exactly the biblical sense. That's what that, we mean when we talk about the biblical writers and theology, that they're theanustas, born along by the Holy Spirit. This is from God, is exactly what he was saying. Not, not, in, not in the actual sense because the, the, the faithful of the discreet slave are not uh, inspired. You know, it doesn't matter to me if he uses that word or not, if he uses synonyms for that word, which mean the same thing, you know? Let, let, me, let me ask you a question. Just, do you see what I'm saying, though? Yeah, but let, let me ask you a question. I, I still haven't, I, I, I'm ask, I, I still haven't gotten, you still haven't acknowledged that. Can I, can I ask you a question? Well, just let me let me ask you a question. <laughs> okay. Is, You're just um, trying to divert because you oh, know. No, I just want to I want to ask you a question sure. because right now we're having a congregation meeting. Oh, you said uh, you had time. I, I do have time. Okay. I'm not I'm not quite sure the the purpose of your mm-hmm. call. What's the purpose of your call? Well, if you, if you, listen, listen. Let me let me just get this out and then I'll let you continue. If you wanna if you wanna have a uh, a, a you know a conversation a mm-hmm. dialogue. Mm-hmm. About this subject, mm-hmm. we'd be more than happy to visit you at your, at you know, at a, at a time and place convenient for you, and we can sit down and have. And have oh, it's done. convenient for me right now, and, and no, well, I don't. I don't want to give any personal information, and don't want anybody to come uh, right now, because I, I just like to get a satisfying answer to this first. Um, okay, well, what I'm, what I'm trying to say to you is, right mm-hmm. now, is our congregation meeting. We have mm-hmm. an actual meeting going on right now. Oh, okay. Well, I'm. That's why I asked you if you had time, and you said yes. Well, I, I, I I don't have time to get into a long. Oh, okay, okay. At, at this time, but I, yeah. I would like to. I would like to further. Maybe you could take my number down. And um, I'll share some other expressions that they use that mean inspired as well that they they have uh, used. Um, what's a good time for you? Uh, but but here's, here's here's the thing though. Uh-huh. Uh huh. If you're calling me, uh-huh. if you want to, if you want to, you know, discuss um to the. I mean, if you just want to argue, I, I guess I don't see a point. If, oh, if okay. If you want to have a discussion, because I'm, I'm not going to, I don't want to waste your time. Either. Yeah, you should, like, yeah. Just argue about Bible doctrine. 
Oh, the, I, I'm only interested in this one thing because you know they he said on there that the direction comes from Jehovah to Jesus to them, and I guess that's why they call it channel. They're kind of channeling, you know, Jehovah. Um, and uh, is that has that always been true in the past that it, the direction came from Jehovah to Jesus to them? I was just wondering, particularly on their medical dictates, um, are well, were they all from Jehovah? Well, let me let me ask you this: Would the uh, the, the channel that Jehovah used in the first century was... Oh, no, I didn't want to ask that. I said, do the medical well, I'm, dictates... I'm, I'm, they, I'm asking you. No, I'm, I'm not really interested in that. I'm interested because, see, they're the ones making an incredible claim, not me. So, well, you know... Well, here's, um, here's, here's the thing, ma'am. Let me, let me just jump right in again if I, if I could. Um, you know, the, the, one, of the, one of the things that I really, truly appreciate about Jehovah's Witnesses and their organization is that you don't... It, you know, whoever was the witness that you that you met, and in mm-hmm. and, and, and the website that, that you watched, whatever whatever particular video that you watched. Yeah, on on JW dot org. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right, right. This is this isn't a, a a thing where you're forced. You know, if you if you disagree and not interested. Oh yeah, I know, I know, I know. Who who said anybody was forced? Unless you were a kid and got baptized in the organization, then you're kind of forced, huh? Kind of stuck. Did you know the guy in Australia that was at that court case called it a captive organization? Hello? Kingdom Hall, Joe's Witnesses Home. I help you. Hi. Um, I was just doing some phone witnessing. Do you have a minute? Go ahead. Oh, uh, great. Can I share a scripture with you? Um, sure. Okay. Well, um, it's one of my favorites. It's um, Acts 4.12. Um, hello? Hello? Oh, go ahead. Oh, I didn't know if you were still there. But, yeah. Yes. It's, it's one of my favorites. It's Acts 4.12. And it mm-hmm. says, and there is salvation in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. That's a nice scripture. Yeah. Do you know who, whose name that is? Jehovah. No, not in Acts 4.12. The, the thing that's surprising about the book of Acts is that it doesn't say Jehovah in the book of Acts anywhere. But, um, yeah, it's talking about Jesus, the, the, the chief cornerstone. Mm. So, um, if if you don't mind me asking, mm-hmm. may I ask them what religion are you from? Oh well, I fellowship with other Christians at Calvary Chapel, but uh, we don't really focus on talking about ourselves. We like to focus on Christ, you know. Mhm. So, um, that's an interesting scripture because um, it says there's no other name given among men by which we must be saved. So that's quite an emphasis, isn't it? Yes. But may I ask you another question? Sure. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the only name by which we can be saved? That's what that verse says. Mm -hmm. There is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. But what about God's name? Well, I'm just sharing the verse with you. It is interesting because... um, the whole emphasis in the book of Acts is if you if you look up the word name, have you do you ever use a concordance? Uh no, I do not. Oh, it's great. It's like um an a, a very extensive like index of every word in the Bible. I noticed there isn't one on jw.org, but um so it's cool because you can look up any word and every single verse will come up that has that word. So if you look up the word name in the book of Acts, um, it's always the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's, it doesn't say Jehovah or that they were saying Jehovah to people or preaching Jehovah, the name. So um, I think it's really interesting. Well, do you use the Old Testament? <laughs> yeah, but I but but I'm not in the Jewish covenant, so we can learn principles from it. But I'm curious as to why the first Christians preached in this way and didn't say Jehovah. 
Can, can you give me two minutes? I'll oh, sure. Right sure. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Um, yeah, is this a different person? Yeah, hi. Sorry, so this is the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses. I wasn't sure that was one of our young friends that had answered the phone. I wasn't sure who, were you looking for someone specific? Oh, no, um, I was just doing some phone witnessing. I was sharing a, her, um, a scripture with her. Oh, okay. Well, mm-hmm. yeah, we certainly appreciate it. We do much the same thing. In fact, mm-hmm. we're reaching out to some of our neighbors right now this morning with letters that we haven't been able to catch because, you know, we do our door-to-door ministry. Mm. But, um, mm-hmm. Yeah, but thank you so much for calling. Yeah, what do, what do you think about that verse that I shared with her? Did she tell you? No, what verse was that? Well, it's Acts 4.12, and it says, And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Yeah, we absolutely agree, and that's part of the reason why we do the public ministry that we do, both yeah. you know, in the neighborhoods. And do you know what name Jesus. it's talking about? We're talking about Jesus, and we know right, that he's God's right. ransom. Right. His, his ransom provided a means for um, our everlasting life and to be able to have a good relationship with God even now. So we're definitely in agreement with that. Yeah, it says you, there's again, no other the name why. by which we must be saved. And you know what's, what I was telling her is really interesting, too. If you use a concordance, well, I notice there isn't one on JW Org. I, I don't know why they wouldn't want you to use a concordance. Yes, we do have a concordance. We have a, no, that's kind of an index. It's not what's called an exhaustive concordance, where you, you we type, have an exhaustive. We have an exhaustive concordance, which is in a printed form, so it's a lot more substantive of, from you know what we have in terms of the search features. I have a copy at home, and we oh, a printed it. form. Okay, well, try try this. I guess a printed form would be more tedious. I use one from blueletterbible.org. It's just a site with different translations. But um, if you type in the word name and read all the references to name in the book of Acts, the name Jehovah doesn't come up, just the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, which was what the believers were preaching, um, which I think is interesting because you guys say you are the restoration of the original church. And the book of Acts is the inspired history of the earliest Christians. So, um, you know, I just wondered why they didn't preach about Jehovah or use the name Jehovah or even say you should use the name Jehovah. Like when I talk to witnesses, it's Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. You know, they it, they say it like so many times. So you couldn't be like the earliest church then because I'm not seeing that there as a point they made at all. Well, what we do is we attempt to, you know, follow the pattern that Jesus set as well as the first century mm-hmm. Christians, the apostles and the disciples and, you know, Jesus said well, to follow us to preach about the kingdom of God. So that's what we do and also to encourage people to, uh-huh. you know, look at the teachings um, that Jesus gave, of course, because that's why we Okay, so you're, you're not really going to talk about that question that I asked. You, you just said no, you follow like, the pattern of the earliest Christians. Yeah, so well, I'm not seeing like that the, there. I, it sounds like you've talked with Jehovah's Witnesses in the past. Yeah, you know, isn't that a good thing? So, absolutely. Yeah. So we, don't, we don't like to get into doctrinal arguments. Really? We use the Bible as our authority. Oh, to prop and up so, the teachings. You just don't like... I, I'm just here telling you about the book of Acts, and you don't. You say you don't like that? Um, I mean, that's absolutely. interesting. All of God's mm-hmm. Word is inspired. Right. So, so what's your thought on what the question I was asking? Well, I think you know our thought. Like I said, we absolutely No, no, I really don't. 
I, well, I mean, you know, your thought, to... not the organization, but what's your thought that if you looked My up thought, name and they yeah, weren't preaching the about the name Jehovah? And these well, are the original Christians. So, like I said, it sounds like you've talked to Jehovah's Witnesses before. You know, I'd be happy to talk with you if you wanted to give us your address. We could come by and talk to you. This is not, you know, the forum for that. Really? Uh, while we're here at the Kingdom Hall. Oh. But we'd be happy to come by and visit with you if you'd why, like. Why would that make a difference? Well, we could talk about it. It's just that I was, we were in the middle of something, so it, it was interrupted, and I need to get back in, with interrupted? that. Interrupted? But we'd love to. I mean, here's um, a person who wants to talk to the Bible, and you find that interrupting because you're writing a letter. I mean, how many people you think are going to really respond to that? Well, like I said, you know, it sounds like you've talked with us before. We yeah, isn't that great? I even read the website. Jesus is the way God means mm-hmm. of salvation, so we mm-hmm. agree with you on that. And I don't really know, you know, at this point what the – benefit would be to either you or I to continue the conversation. Because well, I guess you just don't have a, a, an answer to that. That is a very difficult question for your organization, you know. And so just try it sometime in your exhaustive concordance, and you'll see they weren't preaching, well, they weren't preaching many things that you guys say. So how could you be the restoration of the original church? But I'll just leave you with that. A great website is called docbob.org, D-O-C-B-O-B.org, and um, God bless you. Okay, great. Thanks okay. so much. See ya. Bye.